Every other night they've been well turned out singles. You know, classy, eligible, professional. This was nothing but a freak show. What happened? Well, we did a new mail drop. I don't know, maybe we targeted the wrong Democratic. We matched up compatible people, men and women who should have been the perfect fit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Love in a Rush. My name is Monique, and I'm here for one reason, and that is to make your night as smooth and enjoyable as possible. Are you having fun yet? Okay, each date will last five minutes and then I'll strike a wee bell. Ladies, you stay put and gents move quickly along to the next table. Now you've all been given a date card. At the end of each date, you'll need to mark a tick or a cross next to your date's name to indicate whether you'd like to see them again. Okay? Have a great night and happy dating. Hi, I'm Kitty. Kitty? Alright. So you like pussies? I love pussies. I've got a cat called Flopsy. Flopsy Dopsy did a popsy on the carpet today. Shit. And I've got two dogs. Henry, he's a Bichon Freeze, and Socks, he's a Jack Russell. Ooh, you like beer. Sometimes. You want another one? No, I don't really drink. Have you ever had sex? <laughs> Thought so. So what do you do? I'm a barista. I work in a cafe. Coffee. I prefer water myself. There's too many toxins in a cup of coffee. Something like... I love it. Health not really an issue for you then? Apparently not. Manners not really an issue for you? You still live with your parents. Um, yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I work on the farm with my parents. Right. See, I'm going to take it over one day. Oh, OK. So you've come over to find yourself a wife? No. Well, yeah. So I guess the shag's out of the question then. I'm a classics teacher. A classics teacher? Yes, at high school. So that's like dancing and things? Not exactly, no. It's mainly the literature of the ancient Greeks and Romans. So like were you a dancer yourself? Did you start off like as a dancer? So you work with computers? Yes. My friend's little brother, he's got a computer. Well, really? What kind is it? Oh, a white one? lots of lovely, lovely colours. My favourite colours are yellow and red and pink and sometimes purple. Right, right, great. I'm a computer programmer. Ah, what's that? Oh well, okay. Um, I design digital software for new programs. I then take that design and I encode into a language. I've got a cat called Flopsy! Really? You're fairly open-minded. Yeah. Willing to try new things? Sometimes. What do you like to do for fun? Not sit around and listen to cheesy chat-up lines. I'm physiotherapist. I treat the elite in our sports community. You know, Andrew Mertens. Um, I don't think so. Do you follow sport? Well, sometimes I watch the netball with Mum, but he's not a netball, I suppose. No. So you've worked on him, then? Yeah, his brother Craig. Passed on some tips about kicking technique, that sort of thing. I'll tell you what, the hair never lies. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not qualified hairdresser or anything. I'm, I'm a qualified nail technician. Do you have calls? Two years on nails. Mm -hmm. oh, I think you're chewing your nails, Ben. I keep them short for playing guitar. Oh, OK, you play guitar. But what kind of thing? Blues, Delta blues. Oh, nice. Do you know it? No, no. No, I'm into country. Yeah, a bit. Sometimes I, I like to sing karaoke. I see. It's very interesting. <laughs> I work free in New Zealand. I fly the friendly skies. I'm a real people person, you see. Are you a people person, Daryl? Yes. I, I think so. Daryl, I'm afraid I have a very specific agenda, and unfortunately I don't think you quite fit my requirements tonight. That's OK. I'm sure there are lots of girls here tonight that would be perfect for you, though. I have been on a plane once. Really? I go to the 
I ain't seen help out sometimes. Oh, yeah. I take socks in Henry and they get so excited and fart like crazy. Right, so those two are retards as well. Don't say the R word. Right. I'm a classics teacher. Classics? Like, like orchestras and that? Uh, no, not exactly. No. Is your mum sick? Yes, terminally ill. What with? Cancer. Guess you don't get out much then? No, not really, no, but I'm out on the town tonight. <laughs> <laughs> would you consider yourself open-minded? Yes, I would. Really? You have a suck. That's Figo there, and, and that's me just at the back. A bit of our Lord of the Rings freak, are we? What do you mean? Oh, my freak wouldn't, wouldn't say freak. You like it then? Worked on it for two years, so better like it. Oh, really? Yeah, as a full-time stuntman extra, I, I played an elf, a Gondoran ranger... Is this your little pick-up line? No line. I mean, you can check out my website, www.vigome.co.nz, for no need to lie to you. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, really? And do you think you'll find that here? Could do, maybe, if, um, if you dyed your hair, I guess. Fake tits, collagen lips. Even then you wouldn't match up. You're rubbish. Did you have braces as a child? No. Cats? No. Cavities? Some, I guess. How many? You know, I just start at nine in the morning, and I'm not normally outside, I'm actually behind the counter, you know? Oh, so you're one of those people that tries to sell you things you don't want. It's going to interest you on our offer on Chopper Jobs. <laughs> what that is, is there's a thing called the mystery shopper, who comes in and checks whether we're upselling. That's such a pain. And they check how we're serving, are we smiling, are we smiling with teeth? You don't move your mouth much, do you? I'm a business accountant at Moorworth and Associates. I see. So you're quite smart. And what do you like to do? Guitar. I play blues on guitar. Delta blues. Heard of that? No. I have heard of it, of course. And your parents? They're healthy? No. Dead. They died early. What of? None of your business. She's not too good now. In bed most of the day. Yeah. Quite a bit of coughing up mucus and whatnot. Oh. And of course her downstairs is going. Really only got a few okay. more months left, the poor dear, so I'm glad I get to be with her at the end. Right. Unless she pops off tonight. <laughs> so do you think you want to see me again? I know we're just supposed to tick the boxes, but... Look, no offence, but I just came here to get my workmates off my back. So you don't actually want to be here? No. <laughs> but you're glad you came now, though, eh? Mainly history and literature. I do like to read, so that's helpful. <laughs> Books. I like magazines much better. find them far more entertaining. Oh, really? And which particular entertaining magazines do you read? FA Gym, Sports World, Rugby Week. And there's a Rugby Week. Do you like rugby? Not really, no. I did see some once and I thought it was very... Skillful, exciting. I was thinking more along the lines of senseless and please, Neanderthal. Please, please, please. I can drum and you can sing, sing Britney for me. Please sing for Kitty. Please sing for Kitty. I'll be your friend. Do you like to try new things? Yes, definitely. That's my mantra of the moment. I want to try everything. Oh, yeah? Everything and anything. Yep. Do you look at other girls and wonder? And yeah, wonder? Sexually. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I have had dreams. <laughs> I think every girl has. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> what if you could have a man and a woman to choose from at the same time? I'd choose the man. But if you could have both? No, I don't think so. That's all right. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Her name's my Rosie. She's three. She looks a bit like her dad, unfortunately. A dickhead. That's his hand there. I cut the rest out of the photo as you do. As you do what? Well, you know, after a breakup, you always cut your ex out of all the photos. It's kind of like denying your history, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get rid of him. He's in my bubbles! Are you having a nice evening, Charlotte? Oh, yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> Been meeting so many interesting people, I just don't want it to end. You have a weak spine. No, it was a serious fault. So you're quite clumsy. No. Are you? No, I'm very coordinated. 
You don't do any exercise, though. Oh, yes, I'm quite active. Really? Do you eat a lot? Yeah, I know. It's been so much fun. My name is Catherine Renee, but you can call me Chitty Chat Kitty Cat. Do you like animals? And how have things been going this evening and stuff? Oh, great. Yeah. You've been having luck and things? I think so. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to put a big fat tick next to your name. Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm a caregiver. Look after my mother. Just, just your mum. Well, yes, she's enough work for me. <laughs> right, right. Look, I'll be, I'll be honest. I kind of know what I'm looking for. I've got a specific thing that I want. Right. I mean, that's cool. We could just uh, chat for a while if you, if you like. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm kind of looking for a specific thing too. Oh yeah. Yes, I am. Like, like a Maori. No. Just someone nice. Excuse me. I need to go to the okay, ladies. Okay, yeah. What's this one? Rah, rah, rah. It's an alligator. Rah. You're boring. And you are simply an infantile boy who lets his groin dictate to his tiny mind what comes out of his filthy mouth. Oh, what else can I do? Oh, she bear. This is very bad, you know, for sperm. There's nothing wrong with my sperm. I've got good sperm, excellent sperm. Very proud of my sperm. Really? Yes. Yes. I walk the dogs at the SPCA who haven't been loved very much, and I give them lots and lots of lovely kisses. We've got a couple of dogs. <gasps> You've got animals. It's a farm. We've got sheep. What are their names? Ah. Uh, you are right. Yeah, there's just some pretty interesting people around here. Oh, tell me about it. I've met some real dickheads here tonight. I mean, I'm easy going. I'm not fussy or anything. Well, you got no reason to be. Oops, that came out a bit wrong. Um, Let's dance. Come on. Um, hey, I, I, I don't. Let's think dance. Should. Come on. I don't come on think... now, Kitty. Shall we sit down? No, because you want to dance. Well, actually, one of my clients suggested I come here tonight and try and find myself a real man. <sighs> when you say client, are you like on the game? I'm a nail technician, you won't go. Do I look like a fucking prostitute to you? Well, kind of. Oh. I don't like how we are. No, no bubbles. Can you dance with me? No, no more dancing. I'm going to sit there and we're going to get you something to eat, OK? You need something in Chocolate your... sundae with hundreds of thousands and... Maybe just do a wee sandwich or something. A sandwich, Joseph? Can we get something like that in here, please? <laughs> <laughs> Not a spark amongst them. Mm. Must have been something in the air that night. Too many negative pheromones. Hey, Hi, darling. Sarah, this is my boyfriend, Rob. Pleased to meet you, Rob. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. Mm. So, Sarah, would you consider yourself open-minded? Love is there, love. 